guys we have premier league game week 31 uh, i said we played this uh, on this midweek uh, and um we have quite a number of uh, games uh said to be played and straight into it we are going to look each and one of them we are starting with west ham coming up against uh tottenham hotspurs so west ham are um uh, welcoming tottenham hotspurs in our uh, things on when on tuesday yes uh, on tuesday and um looking at their current form we know that uh, west ham have lost twice in their fi last five games they've, they've lost twice they've won once and drew two so uh in five in the five last games they've won only once uh on the other hand spurs in the last five games they've won three times and only managed to lose twice so they've not drawn in the last five matches and uh, we all know west ham are seventh in the league with 44 points having played 30 games on the other hand spurs are fifth with 56 points having played 29 games in the last five games uh this team have met in the last five games they've met west ham have won twice spurs have won twice and they've drawn only once so th this tells you that this fixture is always a very interesting one and uh this time round i'm going with spurs to win away and cement their place in the fifth position other game we have we have newcastle coming up against everton at the st james park looking at their form in the last five games West Ham or rather Newcastle have won three times, they've lose, lost two times. On the other hand, Everton have uh, three losses and two draws. And uh, Newcastle are sitting eighth place in the league with 43 points, having played 29 games. On the other hand, Everton are 16th in the league with 25 uh, points, having played 29 games as well. In their last five games, uh newcastle have won three times and everton have won two times their last game the first leg ended in a 3-0 win for the everton it was a shocker everton won 3-0 at the goodson park and uh this time around they're meeting at the st james parks and i think it's a different game so i'm going for a draw yeah, between newcastle and everton is either draw or newcastle to win other game is nottingham forest coming up against fulham yep nottingham forest in their last five games if i look their form now we know that uh, nottingham forest have lost three times they've drawn twice so nottingham forest are winless in the last five games on the other hand fulham have won three times they've drawn once and they've lost one game so in the last five games fulham have won three times and we all know nottingham forest are 17th in the league with 22 points having played 30 games on the other hand fulham are 12th in the league having played 29 they have, they have 29 points having played 30 games their last game the first leg ended in a 5-0 win for the uh for fulham yeah, it was a very good game for fulham they won 5-0 looking at their current last five games and uh we know that everton or rather than nottingham forest have only won once and uh, fulham winning four times so in their last five games we know that fulham have come up good and won for four times against nottingham forest so in this game i'll be going for fulham to win yet again um against nottingham forest because the statistics and also the form favor favor the favors them in this uh, fixture another game we have is burnley coming up against wolves yeah burnley are playing wolves oh yeah on tuesday as well and uh their their form is like this in their last five games, we know that Burnley have won once, they've drawn two and lost two games. Wolves have won twice and have lost thrice. So, uh, Wolves in the last five games, they, are, they have two wins. And uh, Burnley in the last five games, they have only one win. As we all know, Burnley are fighting relegation and they are 19th in the league with 18 points having played 30 games. On the other hand, Wolves are 10th in the league yeah they're 10th in the league having played 29 games and they have 41 points the first leg which was played uh favored wolves where they won one nil and head to head we know them in the last five meetings uh Burnley have won three times they've drawn once and wolves have only won once in this fixture um 
so uh, statistics favors Burnley, but the form favors Wolves. So this is a very uh, tough game, and uh, if anyone wants to bet, plays a bet, I will tell you to avoid this game. It's a tough, tough one because statistics favors uh, Burnley, while a form uh, favors Wolves. So it will be a game of uh, statistics versus uh, form, and sometimes no statistics always win, or rather, uh, sometimes also for a uh, form win so i'll be going for wolves to win against uh burnley in this fixture so playing on tuesday are uh, bournemouth and crystal palace so bournemouth are welcome welcoming palace at the vitality stadium where uh, in the last five games bournemouth have 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 one win one draw and three losses on the other hand palace remember they sacked or rather uh royal hudson hudson are uh, resigned and they have a new manager they won twice drawn twice and lost once. Uh, Bournemouth are 13th in the league with 38 points having played 29 games. On the other hand, Crystal Palace have 14th, are 14th in the league with 30 points having played 29 games. The first leg, which was um, the first leg, yeah, the first leg favored uh, Bournemouth and they won 2-0 uh, against Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. Selhurst Park and in the last five games head to head in the last five games we know that um, uh, Bournemouth have two wins and Palace have three wins so in the last five games uh, Chris Palace have won thrice and uh, Bournemouth on the other hand have won twice looking at the last match uh, Everton or rather Bournemouth uh, won against Everton the 2-1 nil win 2-1 win against Everton on the other hand Chris Palace drawn 1-1 one, one against nottingham forest so uh this is a tough match, match as well as you all know and um bonmouth who are i can say they have they, they, they've had a very good season because they're avoiding relegation and the uh, suppliers as well they will do what they can to avoid relegation because uh bonmouth are for, at, at 13th with 38 points and Palace are 14th with 30 points. So uh, the point difference between Bournemouth and Everton and Crystal Palace is 8 points. But the league standing uh, difference is just 1. So uh, it's uh, going to be a tough match. Another game to be played on Tuesday or rather will be played on Wednesday. Uh, it's uh, Brentford will come up against Brighton. Uh, Brentford in the last 5 games they have no win. Brentford have not won any game in the last 5 uh, matches so they've won they've lost two or thrice then drawn twice on the other hand Brighton have two wins in the last five games and they have three uh, draws so they have not lost in the last five games Brighton are um uh, they have they have not lost in the last five, five games on the other hand Brentford have not won in the last five games so that that tells you how this type this tie is going to be a tough one uh you know, Brentford are 15th in the league with 27 points, having played 30 games. On the other hand, Brighton are 9th in the league with 42 points, having played 29 games as well. The first leg favoured Brighton has they had, they went on to win 2-1 against Brentford at home. Um, looking at the head-to-head -head stats, we know uh, they have made five times in the last five games and uh, it's a is is a tie. Uh, Brentford have two wins, Brighton have two wins, and only one draw. Looking at the past match, we know Brent Brighton lost two one to Liverpool. Uh, the two one comeback with uh, of, of Liverpool at the Anfield. On the other hand, Brentford uh, snatched a one snatched a one one draw against Manchester United at home. A game where uh, Christopher Haja scored. Uh, in the last minute to make sure that uh, Ellington Hag's men uh, go back to Old Trafford only a point. So those are some of the games that, uh, that, that are being played this midweek and um, I'll be making a video of the part two where the team like Man City are playing.